Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Kuat Piston Pro X 2 bike platform rack here on our 2014 Toyota Prius V. So the Piston Pro X is your premium bike rack. You have a bunch of premium features. You have your Kashima coating on your hydro pneumatic piston and that's what pushes out your front and your rear wheel mounts. You also have your integrated wiring that you can or may choose not to use. I have wiring here on our Prius V, and if you don't have that or even a hitch, you can find those fitted for your Prius V right here at eTrailer.com so that you can use the Piston Pro X. So the very first feature we'll take a look at is the tilt away feature. We have this lever here, similar to the Kuat NB, but a bit easier to use since it's larger. You press on that lever and then this drops down. Now it drops down pretty quick, so if you have your extra heavy bikes on there, up to 67 pounds per bike, keep an eye out for that. But you'll tilt your bike rack away with the bikes on so that you are able to open up your hatch. You can see here there's plenty of clearance between our door, our pedals, and our handlebars, meaning I can grab other things like my backpack, my waters, my helmets, without having to take the bike off just lift up on the rack then it snaps into place and then you can hit the road I mentioned it has a 67 pound weight capacity so if you have extra heavy electric bikes this can carry that but what other types of bikes can you carry with this well with this having a front and a rear wheel mount there is zero frame contact so your carbon fiber frame bikes perfectly fine your alternate frame bikes your women's bikes your children's bikes you do not need an adapter bar you can even carry bikes with fenders if you use the special fender kit. So we have our wiring connected to our Prius V and you can see that even with your bikes on, if you have longer wheelbases especially, this can carry up to 53 inch long wheelbase bikes. Sometimes they may cover the taillights of your car. So this being on the bike rack itself is great because then you're safe on the road and if you want you can also get the license plate relocation kit to add to that. So I'll show you how easy it is to take your bike off. So you keep one hand on your bike and just easily press on your hydro pneumatic levers, one and two, and just like that you're ready to go for a ride. So depending on your different tire sizes, whether you have your mountain bikes or maybe you need to move them back and forth. You can make very easy adjustments here for your wheels. So for your fenders down here, your 18 inch wheels all the way up to your 29ers. Now for your ground clearance, fortunately your Prius V is not that high off the ground, so your extra heavy bikes, you'll only be lifting them up 22 inches or 20 and a half inches for your first platform. Now, if you do want to, you can get that additional ramp just to help you up. You can use it on both sides too to make it easier. Now for the length this adds to your car, measuring from your bumper to the end of the bike rack, it sits at 26 and a half inches. So when you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot, don't forget that measurement. If you're not planning on going out for a bike ride just yet, you can also fold this up by pressing on that lever pushing it up against the vehicle and it snaps into place. The difference that makes is from the bumper to the end of the rack, it now measures at 13 inches. Big difference compared to when it was folded down. If you're living in the city, you don't want to take up too much space. This is how you'll have it on your Prius V. Also notice how it doesn't really cover much. You can see through your rear window, your taillights are visible. I have the car off, but you would still have the lights on your bike rack too. Now for your backup camera, it's offset towards the driver's side above the bike rack, so you'll still be able to see through your rear view camera. And your license plate is mainly visible with it in the folded up position. The one thing you miss out on is the ability to open up your hatch, but is an easy step on the rack. You can bring this down. Also helpful when you're carrying your bike with your other hand. Depending on what type of hitch you have on your Prius V, make sure you get the Piston Pro X to match. So I have a two inch eco hitch here, which is why I use the two inch Piston Pro X, but you can also find this available with an inch and a quarter version. Now you have a hitch pin and a lock. That lock is key to like to the bike rack up here. 
So not only does it secure the bike rack to your hitch receiver, but you can use the included tool accessible up top to tighten it down. So while it still involves a tool, the tool is right over there, magnetically mounted, and you have a corner wedge on the inside of your bike rack, making for a super sturdy fit. So all in all, the Piston Pro X looks great and works great on the Prius V. I really like how you have that great weight capacity of 67 pounds per bike for extra heavy electric bikes, but you also have the option of adding on the ramp. You can use this bike rack with fenders. It tilts away far enough where you can open up your hatch and you are not covering the back of camera of your car. So it's a great fit for the Prius V. Definitely recommended for those larger bikes, those heavy bikes, pretty much any bike of any shape and size. Now a similar bike rack is going to be the Rocky Mounts guide rail that has a front and rear wheel mount. A little bit trickier when it comes to adjusting those mounts for those different tire sizes but if you like this style but you want something at not as much of a premium price that's also definitely worth checking out and that was a look at the Kuwait Piston Pro X 2 bike platform rack on our 2014 Toyota Prius V